I'm Jordan and I'm a gringo on the streets. And today I'm on the streets of El Cabañal, which is a beach area of Valencia in Spain. And in this edition of Gringo on the Streets, we're gonna learn how to order coffee specifically in Spain. Since I'm in Spain, it'll be really specific to Spain, but everything I do in this video, you can take with you to other Spanish speaking countries and use it to order coffee and everything else. Basically this video is gonna be about ordering coffee specifically, but it's gonna teach you generally just how to order stuff in Spanish. Okay, there are three main types of coffee in Spain. There are a lot of other coffees, but these three comprise probably 95 to 99% of the coffees sold here in Spain. The first one and the most basic is just coffee cafe solo, which means literally coffee only. And it's what we would call an espresso. So they use the big machine and they put like a little shot glass down there and they give you this black coffee that you can put a little sugar in or not, drink it slowly, drink it fast. It's an espresso, it's called cafe solo. And to order a cafe solo, all you have to do is walk in and say, cafe solo or un cafe solo, por favor. Always add the por favor. Hola. Un cafe solo, por favor. Si. See, I just went in there and said what I wanted. Un café solo, por favor. There's not a lot of Spanish needed to do this, and you can order anything that way. But really, I guess what I'm saying is the number of what I want and then what I want. So un is one, so un café solo, por favor. One coffee, please. Hola. Un café solo, por favor. Si. Okay, the second type of coffee here in Spain, and I'm pretty sure this is my favorite, is the Cortado. The Cortado, I believe, is the same shot of espresso from the Café Solo in the last clip, but they add milk in like a one-to-one -one proportion. So it doubles in size. So it's kind of like a large shot glass or a small coffee cup, and it's called the Cortado. Cortado means cut. So you're cutting the coffee with milk, un cortado. Now, you could just walk in and say, un cortado, por favor, like we did with the Café Solo in the last clip, but to fancy things up, you could say, and this is very common here in Spain, me das before you say your order. So, me das un cortado, por favor? Hola. Me das un cortado, por favor. Me das literally means, will you give me a cortado, please? As long as you say that, por favor, you're in good shape as far as being rude or not, though. So now you just walk in and say, me das, the number of what you want and what you want. Hola. Me das un cortado, por favor. Now the third type of coffee here in Spain, and I've heard from multiple sources now, or read from multiple sources, that this is the most common coffee in Spain, is the café con leche, which literally means coffee with milk. The difference between this and a cortado is, again, it's the same espresso shot, but now they put a lot more milk in, and so it kind of fills the size of a normal coffee cup. So café solo is just the simplest, smallest coffee. Un cortado is cut with a little bit of milk, doubling it in size, and the café con leche is probably three-fourths milk and one-fourth coffee, but it still tastes like coffee. It's not this milky nonsense. It just fills a normal coffee cup. Maybe it's two-thirds milk and, and one-third coffee. I don't know. It's good. I love it get a café con leche. And you could just say, un café con leche, por favor. You could say, me das un café con leche, por favor, like we did in the last clip. Or you could say the same thing a little bit differently. And the reason I'm teaching you this is this is very common here in Spain, so you will hear it. And it sounded kind of weird to me the first time I heard it, me pones. It's the, it means literally, will you put me instead of will you give me? But it's used in the same way. So, me pones un café con leche, por favor. Me pones un café con leche, por favor. Now, let's say you're in a bar or a cafe and you already ordered a course like we did two clips ago, and you wanted another one. This has happened to me many times. A lot of times I'll order two, three cortados. By the third, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. But you can just say otro, and then what you want. So otro cortado, por favor. Otro cortado, por favor. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're obviously in Spain, so this is very specific to Spain, but I also told you that you could take this information and use it to order anything you want in the Spanish-speaking world. Here are a couple caveats, a couple warnings. I told you me das and me pones. Both those words are in the two form, and I told you that because I told you to say it that way because in Spain that's how I say it and that's how everybody else says it. They use the two form a lot more than they use the usted form here. But in Latin America, it's the opposite. They use the usted form a lot more than the two form. So if you're in Latin America, it's probably better that you say me da un cortado or whatever. Hola. Hola. Me da un cortado, por favor. See, it works the same way. Me pones, me das, me da. It's all the same. In this case, if you're in Latin America or you just want to be really polite, you can say me da. Hola. Hola. Me da un cortado, por favor. 
Now, one more note for the whole Spain versus Latin America thing. In Latin America, I'm really not sure if they use Poner in this way. Here, it's very common, but I don't recall. It's been a little while since I've been in Latin America, so I don't recall specifically if they use it there. Any Latin Americans or anybody living in Latin America right now or with experience there, if you have the answer for me, do they use Poner as, it, as a replacement for Madas when ordering food in Latin America? Let me know in the comments below. Now, one more thing I want to bring up before we leave is the fact that I am so far from perfect, but I can still get everything done I need to get done and have awesome conversations. People don't believe me when I say that, that I'm far from perfect, but I'm in Spain right now and I just went to a school for a week for 20 hours to have private classes, not private classes, but small group classes and it was awesome. I should do more than a week, I just don't have the time right now, I'll go back in the near future, but I am still learning Spanish, probably till the day I die I'll be learning Spanish, so don't compare yourself to perfection. I don't com I'm not perfect by any means and I can still get, have so much fun with Spanish out there, so please don't let that get in your way. And just to show you what happened to me, the first clip I made when I was making these coffee videos, it was early morning, it was the first one, I hadn't warmed up yet. I probably hadn't spoken Spanish in 12 hours because I was sleeping and then just around the house preparing. And I went into a, into a bar to order a cafe solo to make the video for you, and here's what happened. Hola. Un cafe, un cafe solo? Si, por favor. I walked in there and I was like, una cafe. I just couldn't talk. It just couldn't come out of my mouth. So don't worry about being perfect. Just get out there and order some coffee because it's delicious. If you want to see more Gringo on the Streets videos like this, go to SpanishDude.com slash streets and I'll be back with you in a few days. Take it easy. Hasta luego.